So Hugh, when uh, the guys at Armin came to you to do to voice Pirate Captain, were they looking for Hugh Grant to be the voice behind this guy, or did you have to have a pirate voice? Did they ask you to figure what out what a pirate voice would be? Uh, yeah, neither of those <laughs> really. I mean, uh, they definitely didn't want the classic, cliche pirate voices. There wasn't this boring exactly. Involved. Didn't want that. Uh, at the same time. There was no question. I couldn't do it in my own voice because uh, I, you know, look at him physically. He's this big, bearded, barrel-chested guy. So I had to uh, actually act. I had to create a silly voice and use that. How how do you find that out? How do you discover that when you're in a booth and not acting, you know, in a in a regular movie set setting? Well, really, it's no different from any other film. It's just, I just read the script, you know, alone in my kitchen and <laughs> experiment with voices. And uh, I found one I quite liked and went in and. The director quite liked it, and that was it. So you spent a lot of time at home singing shanties to yourself, or uh, was there a lot of pirate research involved? None whatsoever. <laughs> and did you and Pete Lord, who directed the film, did you look at other pirate movies and kind of figure out what this pirate movie was going to be like based on stuff that has already existed? Uh, I think he did watch some uh, pirate films when he was first conceiving the whole thing, um, but I certainly didn't. And something that comes up a lot when we talk about American comedies or Amer American animation versus British is that people are always like, oh, that comedy is very British. And no one, I don't really know what that means necessarily. Yes. Do you have any idea what people mean when they're talking about British comedy and that being really different? Yeah, I don't know. It's hard to put your finger on. But I, it's, I mean, this is a bit <laughs> Monty Python-ish, perhaps. It's, you know, sort of absurd, silly, uh, with... Um, a certain amount of um, irreverent kind of sophistication in it as well. You know, it's not every kid's film that has Jane Austen in it and Charles Darwin and, you know, Queen Victoria. True. Yeah. And for you, I mean, I and I know you've worked with Armin a little bit in the past, uh, yeah. but doing a kid's movie, was that something different for you? Was that on, were you looking to do an animated film or something that wasn't quite aligned with some of the other work that you've done in the past? I wasn't particularly, no. Uh, I just sit around. It's difficult to drag me, you know, to work these days. But when this came up, it was just so funny and, and Ardman is so brilliant. I thought, well, I have to do that. Is it something you want to come back to doing? I would do another, yeah. <laughs>